Hey, I'm Una. Welcome um, back to my channel. I do project panning and other related content. And today I have an update for my project, for my pan that palette <laughs> for um, 2023. So yeah, if you're interested in that, stick around and we'll get into it. I have once again forgotten my goals from last month mostly, but I did make some exciting progress and I'm really excited but there's still no empties and I'm a little bit, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Anyway, um, I forget how I did this last month, but this is what my whole palette was looking like last month. And here it is today. So there are definitely some changes and I'm going to talk through it one by one. And I also have my single um, shadow. So yeah, I'm tracking uses on every single one of these eyeshadows and um, all that jazz. So <laughs> let's get into it. The first shade is the 11th shade from my Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics palette. And um, that shade got 24 additional uses. Oh, there's a little chip that's about to fall out. 24 additional uses this past month for a total of 79 uses in the project. Um, it is still not empty. A little chunk fell. I have been optimistic about this shadow. Um, I think because I have a whole nother cream shadow, so I was like, I'm gonna use this up super quick. But honestly, I don't need to use it up super quick, and so I'm gonna try and be a little bit more realistic. My goal is to use up half of what's left by next month. So I'm assuming probably that will be like exposing the entirety of the middle ring that's already exposed on this side, because um, I do have a side pan here. I don't think I had that last month. And then I'll finish this in two months, and that will be my goal, because I think that's reasonable based off of how much I've been using it. Um, I, like I said, I did use it 24 times, which is about every time I did my makeup. Um, but yeah, clearly it's not the crazy speedy progress that I have been like pushing myself for, but I've been using a good amount every month. So that's very exciting. The next shade is Vermeer from my Modern Renaissance palette. Um, this got 22 additional uses this month, which is pretty darn good considering I've been using other um, inner corner highlights. Uh, I think the pan is very slightly expanded. Um, I've been kind of wearing it down pretty evenly, but I'm chipping away at it. I've been using it a ton. Um, and it has a total of 61 uses in the project, which is pretty darn good. Next is the ninth shade from my Carly Bible um, uh, <laughs> BH Cosmetics palette. Um, I only use this 10 additional times this month. It looks pretty similar to last month. Um, it does have a little bit of a pan expansion, I believe. Um, this just like didn't really go with the color stories I was using as much this month, but um, 10 uses is still good. It has a total of 39 uses in the project, which is pretty darn good, I would say. After that is the seventh shade from my Carly Bible eyeshadow palette. This one is, I don't know if it's gonna get finished this year, but that's okay. I used it eight additional times this month, um, which is most of any month. And I feel like I might've used it a couple more times than that, but that's it for a total of 20 uses in the project. Not great. Peaches are not really my thing. I am gonna try and use it more because it's very light and I can incorporate it even when it's not a fully peach look. Um, I am wearing it today. I believe I marked that, but yeah, this is just like not my favorite eyeshadow look. I feel like sometimes peaches can make me look a little bit sickly and that's no fun. <laughs> Nobody wants that out of their eyeshadow. Next is the shade Golden Ochre, also from the Modern Renaissance palette. Um, this I used 10 times, which was a little bit surprising and it looks about the same. The pan might be a little bit expanded, um, but that's it. And that makes for a total of 25 uses in this project, which is not great, but I've just not, not super been feeling it. And also like, I feel like I haven't been letting myself use yellows because I think of them as like fall color and it is distinctly not fall. Um, but I'm trying to be better about that and just let myself do things more flexibly. So we'll see how that goes. Next is a shade Warm Taupe. This one definitely has some significant change. I have hit side pan this month, um, as you might be able to tell down in this corner. Um, it's been so close for a really long time, so it's really satisfying to actually hit that side pan. Um, and I've used it 25 additional times, which is the most of any month in this project for a total of 67 uses. So I believe it's my second most used shade total, um, which makes sense because I use it in my brows um, every day, basically. So yeah, that's gotten some good pan expansion. Uh, like I said, I hit side pan. I really cleared out this corner and um, I'll probably work a little bit 
I'll probably choose one side to focus more on, but I'm not, I'm not stressed about making the progress super visual, but it is kind of nice to be able to see it very clearly. All right, next is also very exciting. This is the shade Mink from my CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette. And I've hit pan on this again, <laughs> finally. Um, I used it 11 more times for a total of 33 uses in the project. So about 33 uses since I repressed it. And I'm very <laughs> happy to see that pan. I did have quite a few very low makeup days where basically I would put warm taupe in the crease. I'd put this on my lid. I'd put this in my inner corner. I'd blend it out with this. And that would basically be it. Um, very occasionally I use some other shades for my panless eyeshadows and stuff, but yeah, I'm really happy to see that dip and now we can see the pan expand and now everything has pan in it, so it's just shiny pans everywhere. Um, yeah, we'll be happy with that. Next is the shade Born Fresco. Oh, I totally forgot to talk about Kessie, but it's fine, we'll get to it. Um, so yeah, so last month I cleaned out this corner and now I'm working towards this corner. I haven't quite reached the end, but it's definitely used. <laughs> uh, the pan has expanded there um, and that will definitely be kind of my focus moving forward is kind of making flattening it out so it's like half a pan left probably um, on both sides. So yeah, that's exciting. Um, I used it 13 times which is the lowest of any month just because it didn't quite go with the colors I was using. They were a lot warmer um, or neutral or <laughs> if that's that's not really how you more neutral. Uh, and, but I have a total of 47 uses on it in the project, which is pretty darn good, and it's a shade that's really easy for me to use. So as soon as my Panless Eyeshadows color story turns back towards kind of more cooler tones, more purples, it will be used all the time. Next is the shade Shagora. This, I think I may have had the goal to finish this month, but my Panless Eyeshadows were not at all with it, so I didn't worry about it. Um, I did repress it into a smaller pan, so I will have pictures with the smaller pan. Um, when it was initially pressed and now so you can see I did expand the pan a little bit I did use it nine times um, so there is a little bit of pan there's really not very much product in this I've used it 35 times in the project as a whole and definitely if if I can if I'm in a situation where the, I'm using it my goal will be to use it a lot but if I continue to have pan those eyeshadows and everything that are just very different shades, it's just kind of hard to use. It's a little bit of a weird shade in the first place, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But hopefully, within a couple of updates where I am focusing on it, it will be gone. Next is this gold single. Um, I don't know where I got it from. I used it six additional times, which is not great. It's one less than usual. Um, I don't know why exactly I wasn't reaching for this. I just kind of kept forgetting about it. So I'm going to try and rearrange my magnetic palette so it's a little bit more um, front and center. Uh, but it's not too bad. I do think the pan is slightly expanded as it usually is every month. It's just inching out there, uh, which is not bad. That's kind of, you know, slow and steady. We'll get there. Um, and then we have the uh, 15th shade from my Carly Bubble palette, this dark brown. Um, I've used this 20 times, which is pretty good, um, and I definitely have some pan expansion. I've used this a total of 58 times in the project, which again, pretty good. Yeah, definitely expanding the pan kind of up that way. Um, if you can see from the pictures, I'm happy with the amount of pan in there. I have started using this in the tails of my brows just to get a little bit more use on it every day, um, but not much. All right. Now, the shade I skipped over, Kessie, is because I haven't used it at all. Um, like I said, I have two of these creams. I'm just going to finish this one before I start on this one. I just think that's more reasonable, <laughs> and it means I only have one in my magnetic palette, so I have more space for other colors. So that's good. Um, I also have not worked on either of these two. Now, these three, my goal is only to get significant use on them, not to use them up completely, um, but I haven't worked on these two. This because it's too similar to this one and to the dark brown, honestly, and this one because it's too similar to Vermeer. This is Antique Bronze and the seventh shade from the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette. I have been using this one, which is the 14th shade from the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette. Um, I have exposed a little bit of that outer ring in the corner and I'm pretty darn happy with that. Um, I've used it 14 additional times, which is almost as good as last month, which is 15. Um, for a total of 40 uses in the project. So I'm very happy with that. I do think I will try and switch it out with Antique Bronze when I remember to, when I have a little bit of a cooler toned Antique Bronze has a little bit of pink purple in it, um, just to spread out the use a little bit more evenly. Um, but they're both old shades. They're both, you know, dark brown. So it's not super high stakes. But yeah, that's what my palette is looking like. That was a lot of talking. But um, I don't think there will be any empties next month unless Sugar F goes crazy fast um, and everything works out for it. But I'm really happy <laughs> with the progress that I do have um, and I'm just, I'm still working on it. Um, I think it's 
on the one hand it's like wow it's already the end of March but it's also like it's only been three months and there's a whole year for this project so I really don't need to stress about getting empties out right now I'll just let them happen when they happen I don't want to like stress about that too too much so yeah um and then my last shade is this um single from Colourpop this is what it looked like last month this is the shade Amaze and here it is now um I don't know that there's a ton of difference I have used it six additional times it's not a favorite I don't know it was just I have so many of these shades right now uh that are kind of in this color story and I just <laughs> it's been a little overwhelming and um I'm not a huge fan so it's we're chipping away at it um I continue to use it with my glitter primer and that works pretty well but it's annoying to use so that's why there are only six uses but I'm glad it's still above five um it's not quite as good as last month's nine uses but that is a total of 17 uses in the project um and hopefully I will just continue to get five to ten uses a month and chip away at it that way and if I don't finish it completely by the end of this year that's fine it's really fine um but yeah that is my pan that palette 